is a UFC featherweight division fight. back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the com he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level one yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 11 losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Palm Springs, California, Cub Swanson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds, Big Daddy! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. They're certainly getting after it early. Blocks the shot. his shots nicely good tempo very accurate finding the range with relative ease yeah he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity look at him working at trying to shut the liver down looked like he might have landed there instead a swing and a miss by swanson and a nice left hand there on the inside unable to connect with the right both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. What a fight we got going on here. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Killer Cut. Wow. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Good stick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 
Big right hook, but a whiff. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And he comes through with a big knee. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Swanson. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Big leg kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Another shot lands upstairs. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice. Good right hand. Oh, straight right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Just misses there with the left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? We march on three minutes to go. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, single collar tie here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Blocks that kick to the body. And he gets the takedown. He gets the takedown and falls right in the side control. Exactly where he wants to be. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Swanson. Both fighters get up now. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the mass. Oh, he needs oh. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Big punch lands. Ooh. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again. The guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of kicks. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. 
Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Swanson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Head kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A little single collar tie there. That's a big strike right there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, oh how about it? Left up and delivered the diving punch to the head. Gets up again here, but hurting. We're well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without one. Slice of elbow comes around the corner. That only happens if you can gain possible control. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! And landing some nasty strikes. Oh! He's out! Yo! Wow! That was nasty! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly, so... Near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 38 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tom Swanson! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. The hood's still dangerous, goodness gracious, move like a crazy brother. You're paying me something. Fed everybody that don't say me nothing. Still back to the front.